snakepunch.com. There's all different kinds of jobs you want to do. If you just get your guard up, okay, you can have a solid jab, it's right down the pipe, shoulder in, right into your chin. You can have just the little tap out, just a little feeler, or you can have, you can just, you can gauge in my ass, but he's thinking what you're going to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, because I, I remember years ago, my old trainer says to me, you can win a fight with one hand. If you can win a fight with one hand, you've got the fight won. And your jab is the closest punch, the closest, the closest hand to your opponent. Yeah. So it's the easiest punch to throw. And the safest one to get away from as well. Yeah. If you're gonna, if you're gonna pat, if you're gonna slip and, and get underneath the punches. But there's also the doubling up of the jab. Yes, there's a double. Yeah. Oh, double, triples. Three or? triples. You can it's endless. Yeah. You know, you can move to the side, jab to the side, or you can back the opponent with a jab. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I remember you quite, you quite often say um, to me, you go light then hard. So yes. You, 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 you then mix up the. The so jab you just said in, in, exactly. in the mixture of the jab. It's all about relaxing it, and a jab can come from here as well. Yeah. Because it, 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 some people, the conventional way of learning people to box is keeping your hands up high, like so. But what I suggest is also if you can have your hands down, you get your own style, have your hands here. He won't see the punch until it comes up. Right. It probably, he won't see it until it's about there, because he's looking at me. So that's why a lot of fighters have their hands down and they can get away from punches. Right. So the jab is very, very important. And it, we can jab to the body too, can't we? I suppose. Straight jab, yeah. Again, this is a little bit more difficult, I guess. A lot of people go straight down and punch. I, I, I prefer to go to the side. And if, if, if you're concerned, you might come back with the counter. You keep your hands there. Right. Hand come over to the side of your face. Okay, we're talking about the different jabs again. So we're going to do the range find. Okay, so what I would, I would suggest, you guard there and you just tap. Just tap. Just keep your thinking. Step in with a shot. Still steps, okay? You can do a hard jab, come back with a, a, a soft jab, so you just go bam and top and hard again. Okay? See the way you could probably do a jab down here, keeping the guard nice and low. Okay, so we keep that there, boom. Here you can see it the last knock in, boom, right there. Good, boom. There. Okay, you can do a body punch, guard hook, guard there, keep it high, touch. Okay, there's that way. There's also a way you can just stop there. So if he comes back with the right hand, say, over the top, that hand's there to, to, to protect the chin. That's good as well because you've, you've stopped me when you go down because you go to the side, yes. if I'm jabbing you, yeah. well, even if I lower my punch, I can't get you. Yeah, I guess. See, so if you're jabbing out to the head, there, I'm yeah. right underneath, you're open to the bottom of the body shot, and you can also come over the top with the right hand. Brilliant. Yeah? Okay. Cheers.